Hello everybody and welcome to Pixelcraft. Today I've made a sort of lock system uh, that only uses these two items. Not really a lock system, but um, more of a just secret hideout entrance thing. Now uh, this is sort of like a, a dark cloudy room of death. We got some netherrack here and we got this weird podium and this is all I have in this house. Um, as you can see, uh, so there's very little stuff that I, I can really do with these. Uh, obviously I can light this, but, you know, nothing really happens, but, if I do this, and I throw my viewing pane down, you might have seen it there, you can see that a code shows up at the back. Um, so we've got one fire on the right and one fire on the left, so, let's go over to the, uh, the netherrack here, and uh, light those, and you can see a secret entrance opens up. So um, we drop down here into the back cave, uh, get out, and we'll just reset that. And as you can see, it's closed behind us. So um, that's it uh, for the functionality of it, and now I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so here is pretty much all of the redstone, and really what it is is very, very simple. So um, I'm not really great with command blocks, so this is all very simple stuff that you can do uh, Even if you're scared of command blocks, it's really easy to build this kind of thing So this is just a simple redstone clock connecting to two different pistons uh, This one became useless further on as I changed the design, but uh, it should actually still be there we go uh, But I did change some stuff so actually yeah, actually never mind it is useful so if we have both these off none of those are up so up. These are testing for fire in these two locations, obviously here. So, um, sorry, that keeps turning on. So if I take this away, that one goes down, and if I take that one away. So those are just testing for the fire. Then once these are up, this block tests for this block to be in this position, and then this redstone circuit is, so this keeps functioning. Then if this block is in an upward position, this uh, goes to this block and sends a piston out uh, this is kind of, this is, this is weird, if, so if that block is up, this sends a current to here, which turns off this piston, and if this piston is retracted, then a signal can go through here, so this block needs to be up in order for that one to work, and if that one's on, well, if this one is the only block on, it doesn't have enough to get to this position being up. So, essentially, the only way that this works is, it pretty much works on what I like to consider vanilla wireless redstone, so there's a piston here, it tests for if this um, if this this is needs to at be outputting a signal, which it is at the moment because they're both up and there's fire. So this entire thing tests for this block being in an upward position. So if this block is in, and the only way that this block can be in an upward position is if all this stuff uh, links together correctly. So this this is testing for um, I believe this is testing for that block over there, which would which means that those two blocks are being guaranteed to be checked through this, which means that this can be guaranteed to stay up, saying that yes, both are triggered, so you'll see that if I take away just this one, after a while. Just one. What the hell? Does it work? Oh. Okay, so there we go. So with just one they won't work, but with two they will. Um. This one, unfortunately, unfortunately, this one has to go out first for it to work, I believe. Because, um, like if I light these two, and it opens. If I take that one away first, it won't work. So I have to cut away this one for it to work, which is annoying, but it's alright. And then, uh, down at the base, uh, so if we go in, um, down here, all we've got down here is two simple redstone clocks. This fills in flowing water up there and that one turns it back into air so uh, it fills the gap up top with flowing water it fills this block here with flowing water which flows onto this block and then you can clear it with oxygen um, so that pretty much wraps it up for this video if you want to make a secret entrance like this you can make it out of many different things um, so just for example, I'll just show a couple of things that it works through. So it goes through paintings, it goes through signs, it goes through water, and it goes through um, 
So, as you can see here, I've So as you can see, there's running water there. If I throw this, if I throw that there, kind of hard to tell actually on water, but there you go. You can see that it cuts through the water. It's not really very good because I don't have anything on the other side to uh, show you, but uh, a better one is uh, nether portal here. I'll build one facing the, the lava. So um, there we go, we got another portal and you can see you can cut straight through into the lava. Like I said, it also works with paintings if I... Oh, it doesn't work with paintings, never mind, it only works with signs. No, I know it works with signs, unless they fix that as well. Uh, but I don't think they did. Yeah, there we go, you can see. Um, it makes the sign vanish. So um, that's pretty much all I wanted to show in this video. This nice design, you can copy it if you want. It's pretty easy to build. So thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye.